KSU highlight tape recorded Basketball. 53085 Shelton and Kurtenbach WI TV. There's something magical behind these doors of Hilton Coliseum, and it's one of the biggest attractions in college basketball today. It's Iowa State Cyclone Basketball. No one can match our atmosphere. Standing room only crowds of 14,000 Fill this Coliseum every game for Cardinal and Gold slam jam and excitement. Cyclone fans are supportive, vocal, loyal, and proud. Proud of their Cyclones and the fact that they themselves rank among the nation's top ten in attendance. Johnny Orr and Iowa State have a love affair here. Orr has captured the hearts of fans statewide, and there's no other place he'd rather be. Johnny Orr's Cyclones have built a Midwestern contender, and they did it the old-fashioned way. They earned it. Orr's love for the game and joy of teaching it to others goes unparalleled. So says Barry Stevens, ISU's all-time scoring leader, who says Orr's enthusiasm is contagious to his players and his fans. Johnny Orr is one of a kind, hardworking, Fun-loving, genuine. Just one year ago, Johnny Orr led the Cyclones to the school's first ever berth in the National Invitation Tournament. And how about this season for an encore? Try a school record 21 victories and a berth in the NCAA Tournament. It was a season filled with emotional highs. The Cyclones opened the 84-85 campaign with five straight victories in racing to a 12-4 and non-conference record while losing only to top 20 ranked teams. Included in that stretch was ISU's second consecutive mythical state championship, which included wins over Drake, Northern Iowa, and the Iowa Hawkeyes in Iowa City. After opening the conference season with a near upset at ninth-ranked Kansas, ISU ventured to Columbia, Missouri, where the Cyclones dethroned Norm Stewart's Tigers. From there, the Cyclones battled in the thick of a wild and woolly Big 8 title chase, which saw ISU finish third behind a pair of nationally ranked top 10 teams, Oklahoma and Kansas. The Cyclones advanced to the Big 8 tournament finals, at the Kemper Arena in Kansas City after blasting 10th ranked Kansas 75 to 59. Then, just 12 hours later, they nearly dethroned 4th ranked Oklahoma before falling by just two points. That effort, coupled with season-long success, Help land the Cyclones a berth in the NCAA Tournament, the school's first since 1944. This team had character and guts. The Cyclones fought hard and played together. Flashy Barry Stevens was simply brilliant. He earned first team all Big 8 and all Midwest honors and rewrote ISU's record books. 
His 2,190 points set ISU's career record, and he ranks second only to Wayman Tisdale as the Big 8 Conference's all-time, yes, all-time, leading scorer. Jeff Hornacek, playmaker, shooting star, one of the best all-around guards in the Big Eight. And that's what earned him second team all-conference honors. Skyhooks became an active part of Cyclone basketball, and Sammy Hill became a key in ISU's surge. His 42 blocked shots set a school record. Two freshmen proved to be America's finest rookies. Forward Jeff Greer and guard Gary Tompkins were honored with all Big 8 freshman status. Greer played with veins of ice and a heart of gold. His 402 points were the most ever scored by an ISU freshman. Tompkins could pass and his defense was awesome. A trio of veterans spelled relief. Tom Peterson was a key in ISU's strive for the NCAA tournament. David Moss contributed at both ends of the floor. And Ron Virgil was simply himself. Very productive. This truly was a team. Everyone made contributions. Wes Wallace's assistants went far beyond his playing time. Frontliners Raynell Harris and Brad Dudek provided a needed inside punch. And electrifying performances were put on by freshman LaFesta Rhodes and Eli Parker. It takes resources to build a basketball power, and Iowa State's are among the nation's finest. Take our facility, James H. Hilton Coliseum, 14,000 seats in a plush setting. The fans are, without a doubt, the finest in the Midwest. They come in droves and pride themselves on their enthusiasm and sportsmanship. Our media exposure is at an all-time high Aside from our record crowds, we had 21 games televised last year, including some nationally broadcast. Our student athletes are treated to the finest in care. Our strength and conditioning program is directed by a full-time specialist. And the center offers state-of-the-art equipment. Our conditioning program is a success and has provided Cyclone athletes with the extra edge it takes to compete on the national level. Basketball season calls for maximum strength, and our athletes get it through good nutrition. Our basketball training table is located inside our contemporary dormitories, and we serve three meals daily, year-round. Our beautiful campus offers students loads of activity. We have 26,000 students hailing from diverse backgrounds. Ames is a storybook college town, yet just north of Des Moines, the state's capital. Iowa State University takes pride in its educational offerings, and our basketball players are provided with professional academic counseling services to help them reach their future goals. Our graduation rate for athletes is higher than any other Big 8 conference school. At Iowa State, we offer more than a scholarship. We offer an education. You're not just another face in the crowd at Iowa State. We're a high visibility program, the biggest show in town, and we're becoming recognized as one of America's finest. Big time basketball in a family atmosphere. We've got something special here at Iowa State, and we're reaching for the gold.